Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the front door speakers on a Nissan Quest. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what we're talking about right here is this speaker located on you have the driver's side and passenger side, the speaker, and you might be asking what would be the importance of that. Well, if you're having a problem with your speaker where maybe it gets disconnected, you have an electrical issue and you need to access it to make sure the connections are good, you would need to know how to do this. Or if you just want to upgrade them, a lot of times people want to upgrade from the factory speakers to aftermarket speakers, you would need to know how to do that as well. So I'm going to show you what's going to be needed and then we'll jump in and get started with it. What's recommended is you have two Phillips screwdrivers right here. What I have here is a thicker one and then a regular. And the reason why you'll need the thicker one is one of the Phillips screws behind the actual door opening latch has a, a thicker kind of pattern to it. So you don't want to strip it with a small one. So what I'd recommend is a, a large size Phillips screwdriver and a medium. And then you will need a flathead screwdriver and that's to pop a couple of the panels off. So let's go ahead and start taking it off. You would think it would be as easy as just popping this off to get to the speaker. Unfortunately, this is all just a decorative kind of screen that's part of this whole door panel. So the door panel, all this is going to have to be removed. The speaker is actually held behind this, mounted into the door itself. So don't get confused thinking that you've got to pry this off because you're just going to wind up damaging it. We need to take this whole panel off to get to it. So if we come along here on the door, first of all, you're going to see there's a little, little plastic Phillips screw right here. Let's see if I can get a close up of it. Right there. You want to be careful with those. They can break easy, but that's your first one. Then if we come along here and we open this latch, you have this little, little panel right here. That panel pops off. There's a Phillips screw behind that. That's the one that requires the larger Phillips screwdriver. And then if we come along here, right down in here. This little panel is going to pop up and then you have another screw under there. Now the rest of the door is just held on with clips and when we once we get those screws off I'll show you how we kind of pull that up off those clips and then we can remove it. Gently remove this plastic clip. Pull that out. Okay. Next we're going to pull this handle back to access that tab. Take your flathead screwdriver, slide it right in here and gently just pull that out. You don't want it to break, so just pop it out like that. Take your other hand, get a hold of it, pull that out. And inside here, I'm going to show you is a Phillips screw. And as you can see, that takes the larger Phillips screwdriver because the pattern is wider. So let's get our larger Phillips screwdriver and we can remove that. Okay. Slide right in here. There it is. Put that in a safe spot. Next, we have to remove this little panel. So we'll take our flathead screwdriver again, slide it down in here. You have two little tabs. If you just lift it, pops that up, and there's one regular size Phillips screw in there that we'll remove. Now that's it for the screws. We removed the one in the handle, the one behind the latch, and then the little plastic kind of clip type screw. So that's all the screws that come off here. So now we're ready to raise this. And then once we do, I'll show you the harnesses because you don't want to put stress on it at that point. You still need to disconnect the harnesses before the panel itself comes off completely. Now that all of this is off, what we're going to do is just pull the door out to release the clips. So we'll just grab it along the edge here and pull it. You can hear that came off there should have another one here. There we go. You want to take your time because you don't want to break these clips. There's one up top here. Give it a nice pull. And then with this one, you want to pull and lift up. There we go. And now our door panel is now off. 
But if we look down here, and I'll get a close-up, you'll see the harnesses that have to be disconnected next. So pulling the doorway, you can see we have these cables here. They go to the actual door latch. There's four Phillips screws in here that I'd recommend removing that. That makes it a lot easier. And then if we look further down, I'll show you the other harnesses for the window motor. And then you have your speaker, and then you have your little control panel here. Here's the harness for your window motor. If we come further here, I'll show you underneath. You can see these screws. You have one there, one up top right here. Then you have one there and one down here at the bottom. Those four hold the handle in place. Another thing you could do is you could remove the actual cables here from the latch, but that's tricky. I'd rather just undo the four screws and pop that out. Then you'll see there's another harness all the way down here. You can get underneath and disconnect them from the panel, but I'll show you right from the door panel itself on the outside. We can pop that off and get to them right there, which makes it a lot easier. And then all the way down here, that goes to your um, the fuel door, the speaker's right here. So it's easier if you remove this panel here to get to all the harnesses behind these switches. So what I'll do is I'll just set the door up so we have a little stability, give a good pull on it. That pops up. That pops up. And here's all of your connections here on the back. So you can just pop them off here instead of trying to get them from inside the door. So to remove those, I'll get a close up. So on these clips, you have a little tab in here, which is kind of like any any of these harnesses. If you push that in, give a pull, this should come right out. And while you're pushing it, you want to be pulling it. That's one. Same kind of clip on this end here. And that's it. And now with these removed, we can take this control panel, put that off to the side. And now we can tuck these harnesses back in here. So that way now the door is not putting any stress on that. So let's just unscrew this handle piece and then we should be able to get the, the rest of it. So coming here on the back, it's a little bit tight, but you can take your screwdriver in like I have here and undo these screws. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the four screws here on the back and then we'll be back to remove the handle. All four screws have been removed, so we can pop that through. And then now this door can come completely away. There's still actually one extra harness I forgot to mention. There's a light down at the bottom of the door. I'll get a close up. We need to disconnect that. And then we need to just disconnect this one going to the fuel door. And then this panel's off. All right, so this is the fuel door connection here. And let's see if I can get a shot of it here. Just like the other harnesses, it's got a little tab on the bottom that you push up. And then it should come right out. This one can be in a little bit tight. There we go. Let's head down and I'll show you if we can see it from here. See that wire all the way down there? That goes down to that bottom light on the, the door. And here it is right here. Here on the very bottom of the door, you have this light. And that harness connects to that. So let's head around the back so we can disconnect it. And we can see it right here. That one can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes you can just take the bulb itself. I'm sorry, not the bulb, but the light itself, and just pop out that assembly. That can be easier. But I'm going to see if we can pull that out. Same kind of tab as we've been dealing with already. It has a little button, and then we pull it out. So let's see what we can do. Having a hard time getting it. So what I'm going to do, there's a couple clips. Push here on the inside, and we'll see. This pops forward. We can pull it out and then just slide it back in. All right. OK, 
Okay. Now with that off, you have access to everything here. We have one here on the left, one here slightly off at like a one o'clock position on top, and then you've got one down here on the bottom. So once we take those three off, then we can pop this out. Push that tab in. Now removing the speaker, you can either do any work to it or if you're going to replace it. And then at that point, we'll just put everything back the same way that we removed it. Okay. So I've got it in place. I'm going to go ahead and clip everything in. And then we'll come back, screw it in, put this panel in, connect this. And then we'll uh, pop the light in here at the end. So with this thing resting on the window sill here, it's clipped in place. We can just... Push it in. Okay, so we'll so now with it resting on this windowsill, we can come around and just push all the clips in. Just to kind of work your way around it. Get them all locked. That's good. Nice. So we'll get this now and we're going to plug the harnesses back in. We have the harness here, which controls the mirrors. That one goes in first. Next, we'll get this harness that controls the windows. Slide that in until it clicks. And now we can lower this in place. Once you get it lined up, you should hear it click. Let's see, make sure everything is good. There we go. Good. That's in place. Now we can go ahead and put the Phillips screw here, the one Phillips screw here, the plastic screw will feed the light in and we're done. Well, that wraps up this video on how to access the speakers, the front speakers and the doors on a Nissan Quest. I hope that this video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out with any projects you're working on. If you have any questions or comments, please send them in. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. So please like the video, Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.